What's going on YouTube? My name is FG3000. I'm back in the place to be and welcome to Saint Seiya Knight of the Zodiac, a brand new hero collector that came out today. So if you do want to download the title, I will have the links in the description below. So let's go ahead and get started as we always do because you all know a hero collector can truly only be as fun as the heroes that you can collect. And clearly if you are a fan of the Saint Seiya IP, you're going to find a lot of enjoyment out of a hero collector like this. However, for a person like myself who has not seen a single episode of the anime i gotta say that the characters are cool enough looking like even if you don't know a single thing about them there's some likability here like there is a good degree of likability when it comes to these characters so even though i don't know a single thing about this ip i will go ahead and give this game the fg3000 stamp of approval when it comes to heroes that you can collect with one caveat I don't know enough about the IP to know if there is enough characters in the Saint Seiya universe to carry a hero collector long term. Um, hopefully there are some veterans of this IP down in the comment section below that can kind of let us know, is there enough characters in this universe to kind of hold this game for like a year or two year, whatever. Um, that would be something I'd be very curious to know. So that is the characters. Ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead and jump over into combat. Now this game actually plays a slightly different than most hero collectors and I hate to sound cliche and I hate to steal something from Epic 7, but I'm gonna do it anyway. This game, the best way I can describe the campaign and the side stories, it's like a playable anime, like it really is. Um, there are lots of different locations where you can explore the world, you can mine things, you can talk your way out of encounters, um, you can talk your way out of encounters by doing like trivia quests and things like that, um, answering the right questions and the right dialogue options. There's a lot more than just going from node to node to node, which I do appreciate. So right now, wipe out all the creatures on the road. So what we're going to do, we're going to kind of skip through most of the uh, story dialogue so we can jump over into combat. So this game has up to six characters on the battlefield, which you guys know, FG loves a nice big roster in combat when it comes to hero collectors. So props to them already. Now, this is going to be one of the combat systems where it's a universal resources, uh, universal resource system. So all of your characters share these resources right over here and your individual skills will take resources that they all pull from. Um, but the deeper you go into the rounds, the more of these resources you gain. So it actually becomes easier and easier to do your ability. So right now I'm going to go ahead and buff my my man up over here this ability right here as you guys can see takes two it's a nice big old aoe here i'm going way too fast let's turn it off let's turn off this up high speed for right now so you can see some of the animations here so really good graphics everything you see right now is on high um, I also have like the anime outline on all the characters so when it comes to graphics on the characters the backgrounds the actual combat system looking pretty good Saint Seiya um, way better than the effort that Bandai put out like Bandai put out a game in this IP in this universe before and it was terrible so shout out um, to GT Arcade for actually putting out a pretty good game here um, those are the people that brought you uh, League of Angels believe it or not <laughs> So I'm a little wary, um, but I got to say, the game is so far pretty good. So that's kind of how combat works. Like I said, the more you do, the more rounds you go through, the more resources you get. And then pretty straightforward, like I said, you want to kind of balance out which characters are using your resources versus which characters are just doing basic attacks so you can save up for, you know, characters that you need to do heals for, or AOE damage, etc., etc. So that is that. I'm going to go ahead and just buff you up once again. Look, See, check this out. Check this out. Can't even get my words out. Look at this. You're getting way more um, resources as you move along. I'm silenced right now, so I can't actually do any abilities. Characters also have link abilities as well. So I guess based on the universe that these characters come from, they have connections to each other. And basically, if two characters have a connection with each other, they have a link, which means that when one one of them do, one of the characters does an attack, the other character will link along with it and do an attack with them, which is pretty nice. So that is combat here in the world of Saint Seiya, Knight of the Zodiac. So, like I said, now this is actually a, such a simple uh, side story right here. But like I said, sometimes there are actually going to be multiple dialogue options that kind of fill the whole bottom of the screen. It's not always, oh, look at this crap. Which skill is capable of forming a fiery protection shield? How about this? That looks fiery. Boom. So sometimes you have to answer trivia quests about characters in the universe. Um, to kind of, like I said, talk your way out of combat to get yourself buffs, different re uh, different um, materials and resources and bonuses. It's pretty interesting. So we're going to go ahead and finish this out right here. And I'm going to show you what combat looks like on full auto. And like, this is what I was talking about right here. I got to pick up this, this little orchid here. Okay, thank you. Go back and talk to her. Do you want this? You can have it. 
Um, I have been skipping all of the dialogue in the side story, but I haven't been skipping it in the main story. The main story is actually really good. It takes that whole playable anime thing that I was just talking about to the next level because there's a ton of uh, different soundtrack cues. So if something like Mysterious has happened, they, they play like some Mysterious music. If things are about to go down, it plays the things about to go down music, sad music. I mean, it's actually pretty good. Very good effort, really good production values. It's quite evident that this uh, game company kind of took this IP serious. That's a, oh man, I didn't mean to bring this up, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Sometimes these game developers don't take the IP that they have access to serious. Like they don't actually try to make a good game. I don't know why when you have access to a great IP like Pokemon or something, you feel like, you feel like as a developer, you wanna go to the next level to kind of bring that world to life the best as you can. It feels like this development team felt that versus other games didn't feel it that way. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> But there you go. So I just completed this little side story here. Done and done. Back over here to the main campaign screen. Level 14, moving on up in the world. Very nice. Of course, you're gonna get a bunch of resources as you complete things like that. And as you guys can see, I just uh, completed side story 5.1. Hit this claim button, get even more resources. And as I continue doing side stories, I'll open up a little piece of the main story. Then you do a little bit of a uh, little bit of main story. It'll lock itself off once again. You jump back into the side story, do a little bit more side story, then go back into the main story. And that's basically how the um, overall campaign uh, functions. So that's kind of the bulk of your gameplay there. But of course, there is more because this is a hero collector. Um, you do have your daily resource grind. So you have this EXP ruins right here, which you can also do in co-op. Um, so basically, if I want to go in here, I don't know if I'm strong enough to beat this one just yet, but we're going to test it out anyway. So I'm going to go in here. I'm going to go in solo for right now. Um, but you can also do quick matchmaking, where the game automatically match makes, uh, match makes you with two other uh, players. And you can basically, um, you know, tag team and bring this guy down. So we're just gonna keep it on times three speed to see. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm strong enough to beat this. We're good. <laughs> we, we are definitely good. You beat down the big one, and then he has all these little small ones down here at the bottom. It reminds me of that, that really disgusting gif on the internet. Ah, FG, don't tell us. I'm gonna tell you. Like there is like some guy squishes a spider, and then all these baby spiders come out. It's it's not as gross as it sounds. I know that sounds actually more gross than it should have, but you really don't see any any spider guts. Why are we talking about this, FG? Anyway, so you beat up the big golem and then a little, a bunch of little golems, uh, golems come out um, and then you kill them. Uh, once you actually get to a point where you are at a stage that you can't quite get to the next one, you can actually set this bad boy on auto hosting um, where you will just do co-op with other players without you having to do anything, which I like, I always appreciate, lazy FG style. So that is the epic of ruins there for your EXP needs. We move on, we have Dimension. Um, so um, just like in most hero collectors, you're gonna need different types of resources to awaken your characters. Um, when you awaken them, obviously they get more and more powerful. We'll talk about the upgrade system here in a second, but there is a daily resource grind dedicated to awakening materials. Same thing applies, just like that EXP dungeon. Um, go up as far as you possibly can. You can also do it in co-op as well. So that is that. Last thing on the campaign screen is the uh, Saint Quest right over here. Um, so you're gonna unlock these at different milestones. As you guys can see, it tells you exactly where they're gonna be unlocked. Um, when you unlock them, you'll basically uh, unlock an affinity system where, uh, with that character, where over time, um, every single day you can log in, talk to the character, um, answer trivia questions, give them things, things of that nature, where you're gonna build up this affection meter towards them, which is also gonna give you rewards. So that applies to these characters here. I don't know if they're gonna expand it out to even more characters, um, but these are, and I know for a fact it's not all of the characters in the game because I've seen other characters in the game that aren't on this list. Um, so I assume one day all these characters in the universe you'll be able to uh, gain an affinity with. So there you go. Saint Quest. So those are all of the different modes over here in campaign. Um, daily is actually pretty interesting. It just kind of gives you a guide on what you need to do every single day. It'll also tell you when things will unlock. Um, so as you guys can see, here are the additional modes that I don't have unlocked at the moment. I am gonna do a, fo a follow up video on this game once I get more of these modes unlocked because a lot of them are a little bit deeper into the game. So 15, 17, 19, 23, level 31 over here. You also have time limited events that unlock as well. So there is a lot of game play here once again i'm gonna go back to throwing shade at other developers this is how you want to start a game off when it comes to content like this game has a ton of content games should be starting off at this level not getting to this level two years down the road all right <laughs> so gotta give them props once again league of angels development team putting out a pretty good product i gotta say 
Um, last but not least, we also have PvP. In PvP, you have Saint Arena, Train Hall, um, Jameer Championship, Sacred Duel, and Galactic Duel. There's a ton of PvP, as you guys can see. Um, the only one that I have unlocked at the moment is the kind of the normal PvP that we always see. Um, let's beat up on this guy here. So you challenge whoever you think that you can outpower, obviously. There we go, my team versus their team. Um, auto, times three speed. As far as I can tell, there's no skip function or anything like that. Um, but this is gonna be one of those games where you can actually play manually versus the AI. Um, sometimes you play a game where it's AI versus AI and you can't control it. Not the case here in Saint Seiya, Knight of the Zodiac. So we'll let this go ahead and play out. Like I said, I wish there was a skip function, but you know, I'll, I'll live, I'll live. As far as I can tell, I have not seen any type of VIP or anything like that in this game at all. I'm gonna get beat. <laughs> Look at these guys' life bars. I see all these little ticks. Let me out of here. I'm about to get beat on video. Screw that noise. I gotta power up my squad here. Ah, come on, come on. Like this guy, I didn't see him in the uh, 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 affection quest, so I know there's more characters that can be unlocked in that. Um, so uh, that is uh, that. Ladies and gentlemen, of course, there are guilds in this game. I was going to make my own guild, but it costs 500 jimmies. FG got 47. <laughs> so that's not going to happen. Um, but once you do unlock the uh, guild system in this game, there are even more pieces of content in this game. I, I feel like a game like this, it can't be like your side side game. Like this game has to be either your main game or maybe your second, maybe at the very least, maybe like your third game or at the very most your third game. Um, but this game looks like it has so much content that it's gonna take, it's gonna demand a little bit of time from you. Um, so you have these uh, Legion commissions, which are your tried and true dispatch modes. Um, so right there, but you do them with your guild, which is kind of different. Um, you have these Legion rewards. So as you collect these different resources here, I think I can do it now. You collect all these resources right here. You can basically donate them to get rewards. So that is that. Um, Legion Dungeon right here as well. Like there is a lot of stuff going on in this game. Shot out. Here I am like in an actual like open world here. Oh, whatever, we'll start the challenge. We'll go ahead and start the challenge. Go ahead and beat up on this guy. But all around so far, pretty good effort. Not a bad title at all. I'm playing this game on LD player, so I had a little hiccup right there, but I, I haven't really seen a lot of hiccups at all. And like I said, I do have the game on max graphics, so it should be fine for the most part. But yeah, this is going to be one of those instances where you fight your guild boss here, you do as much damage as you possibly can before you get destroyed. Once again, I'm going to go ahead and reiterate that point. There are certain games that are like, oh, we're about to add like guild bosses. Like what? <laughs> like this should be, this should just be a thing that's in the game. Like that should just be your starting point. Things like this are like a given in the hero collector world right now. And I'm kind of, you know what? I'm kind of tired of these games out there that want to start from scratch every single time they release a new hero collector. Like we, we should, we, we need to be past that point. How long has games like Summoner's Wars been out and things of that nature? Like the blueprint is already out there. We really shouldn't be accepting games where they're, they're, they're starting from like, from five years ago. Like they're starting from the blueprint from five years ago when we clearly have 2019 blueprints. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> so uh, that is uh, that, ladies and gentlemen. Um, when it comes to upgrading your characters, there's a little quick enhance button right over here. Um, so, so far you can level up your characters using this EXP juice right here. You can rebirth your characters. Um, so they're gonna be different requirements based on what star level you're at. Um, so right now, if I wanna go from three star to four star, what I'm gonna need to do is first get to uh, account level 20, but I'm also gonna need three copies of three star saints right here. Um, they don't need to be leveled up. They don't need to be powered up at all. They could just be straight out of the gotcha. You take three, three stars, throw them in here. And now he becomes a four star. Here is the awakening system that I was telling you about earlier. Um, so as you grab resources throughout the game, you'll be able to upgrade this system right here called the Seven Cents and also get different types of uh, a skill upgrades as well. Here is the skill system. I don't actually know how you upgrade skills here. I'm going to assume this is where uh, you use duplicate characters here, um, but that's just a guess. And then here is the link system that I was talking about earlier. So like I said, these characters link together and they will also uh, help each other in combat when it comes to attacks. And it looks like they also have passive bonuses as well. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, we also have some waifus, yeah. <laughs> if you go over here into um, kind of what's going on since the game just launched, um, you have the Lucky Booth, which I find 
Kind of funny that this is called a daily reward, but I gotta pay for it? What kind of daily reward is that? <laughs> don't make no sense to me. Uh, but these are just things that you can buy as you kind of level up in the game. Um, you also have the uh, Nirvana, so 99 cents will get you this character right here. I always appreciate a game that gives me something at the bare minimum, 99 cents. First time top up reward. You get some EXP juice here. I think this is a summoning crystal. Yeah, this is actually a summoning crystal right here. And then, of course, the character um, himself, which, once again, if you know a lot about this IP, you might be very happy to get Phoenix Nirvana. I don't know anything about him. You also, once again, since the game is brand new, um, you have this thing called the Holy Fire Crisis, which basically you do all of the things in the game as much as you possibly can. You're gonna hit all these different milestones, get tons of rewards, and you're also gonna get yourself a character as well. Um, there is an eight day a login bonus going on at the moment. Um, you're gonna get a character here at day three as well as day eight. And of course, a lot of things in between. And then there are discount packs that you can buy with your in-game currency, since like I said, no VIP in this game that I have seen. Um, so the currency that the game gives you, you can use to buy things out of the shop if you choose to. However, there are two different types of currency here. Um, so you have this currency right here, which is like the gems. And then you have coupons here, which is the actual cash shop currency. So the game gives you gems. And of course you can see that you can convert coupons to gems. Um, but th it's, it's, it's a dual currency game. So cash shop currency and then in-game currency right here. Um, but so far, most of the things that I've seen, you can actually buy with this currency right here. Not a lot of instances where you can only use that. Um, so there you go. Moving on over here to the mall. So here are all the items that we were just talking about. You have gold here that you can use to purchase. Those are the crystals that I was talking about earlier. Um, when it comes to packs, obviously this is gonna be a mix between real cash as well as those little coupons there. Um, skins, as far as I can tell, are cosmetic only. I can't, I can't really confirm it nor deny it, but I'm just gonna confirm it, I guess. <laughs> um, there are these little skin tickets where I assume um, used to exchange for Saint skins in the skin shop, super precious, how to obtain events. So it looks like you are gonna be able to get skins as a free to play player just by just kind of playing the game and participating in events. And then there are also, oh, I lied, I totally lied. We got some pay to win costumes, ladies and gentlemen. I didn't, I didn't click this far. I literally stopped right here. <laughs> but we got some pay to win costumes, ladies and gentlemen. Um, so uh, crit attack and HP plus 2% um, can only be purchased via these coupons right here. And as far as I can tell thus far, these coupons are only available via cash. So there you have it. None of the uh, regular cash shop costumes like these right here have stats. Not a single one of those has stats, but these do. And like I said, the only way I've seen to get coupons in this game thus far is by um, just buying them flat out. So kind of a bummer, kind of a bummer. Looks like you get two costumes here. There you go. And then like I said, here are all the coupons here that you can purchase. So a little bit of a bummer there. Hopefully they have some events where you can kind of gain those coupons in some way. Like here are those coupons for the free costumes right there. Let's just kind of do a quick glance. Lots of free costumes. So the game will give you a cosmetic costume, but it doesn't look like it wants to give you any of the pay to win costumes, which is a little unfortunate. Little unfortunate. How about here? Nothing there. Maybe one of these days, and one of these, because as you guys can see, it changes every single day. Maybe one of these days, it'll allow you to use your gems to buy some of those. I don't know. Does, doesn't look great, ladies and gentlemen. Don't look great. So let's go ahead and end this video off as we always do over here with the summons. Ladies and gentlemen, I got enough for a tin pool. Wait, wait, wait. Don't I? I got some of these crystals. Now I got enough to do a tin pool over here. Let's see, there goes a B ranked over there, a bunch of C ranks that are just basically fodder. Are we gonna get anything else? Bunch of all fodder, nothing to do with, I can't do anything with any of those characters. And then a couple of Bs. Um, oh, look at this, activate link, done. So I might wanna just throw those in combat because since I don't really have a connection with the game, um, probably makes sense just to use which characters I find to be the most powerful. Very nice. And here at level 18, you'll unlock that six slot. There you have it. So that will do it. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, once again, my name is FT3000. Thank you uh, so much for watching. I want to show you all these characters here, those ones I just got. 
sure. Like, I, I still think the characters look cool. Absolutely. I do degree, I do uh, think there's a good degree of likability here, but sometimes they feel a little samey. Well, he looks different enough. He looks different enough, that's good. So let's test out that one thing I was talking about. Let's do skill. Yeah, exactly. So use your dupes right here to upgrade your skills. Boom, very nice. He's just gonna throw an arrow at you. He's like, screw it, screw a bow, I'm just gonna throw it at you. Interesting. <laughs> All right, guys, so uh, that will do it. Once again, my name is FG3000. Uh, thank you uh, so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.